Good morning everybody, this is Letty and I'm coming to you from my scrap room. I wanted to share with you a couple of things that I have been working on. Um, well, of course I've been working on other things, but um, I'm in the middle of that. And um, But these two things, I, um, I was working on them because I'm getting ready to send a um, small rack. And um, it's going out to um, Terry. Hi Terry! And she has one crafty cookie. And I am like feeling so bad because I have been really busy and um, I wanted to get other things out of the way. And um, her package has been sitting in my scrap room and I wasn't done with her card. I wasn't done with, you know, what, um, um, what I wanted to, you know, send her. So anyhow, um, here it is. Um, this, I made this card for her. And this was using, um, I believe this was DCWB um, paper. And I used this one, um, like a chocolate color, um, as a mat. Um, this one came from, uh, I don't remember what paper stack this one came from. And, um, and then I, uh, the card um, was already one of the cards that, um, you know, that I, that I bought. And, um, all I did was I put some, uh, what are those pins called? These glitter gel pins. Yeah. And, um, I used the gold, um, to give it a stitch around the edges. And then, um, this paper here, um, pretty much, you know, helped the whole idea of decorating the card because it already came with these, um, you know, glitter Christmas tree decorations. And then before applying this mat here, um, I went ahead and I adhered this um, ribbon that um, that um, I bought. And um, let's see what else. Now, um, this card here, this little tag here, um, all I did was I used my, um, my scallop... Um, my scallop, uh, what do you call these, tags, and all I did actually there was, <laughs> let me show you here real quick, um, it was using one of these scallops here, uh, sorry, um, it was using one of these scallops tags, and all I did was, once I was done cutting these, I, um, all I did was I used the, um, you know, the, um, the piece that you're left with like masking and all I did was I just kind of you know combine them together and I ended up with this design right here okay so all I did was I got two of the cuts put them together and then I just traced around it on a piece of cardstock and um, and I ended up with that shape right there so then all I did was I used my um, my little joy stamp um, and that's this one right here. Okay, and this one is by Inka Dinka Do. And then um, for the for the um, ink, I use my Distress ink, and that is using the one and only. Um, I don't have very many um, Distress inks, so um, the one I used was the um, the barn door, and that's what I used. And, um, and then, um, what I did was I went ahead and I cut another piece of car, uh, green cardstock and this is by, um, um, oh, Stampin' Up. And, um, and then all I did was I just, you know, kind of hand free cut a little oval shape and, um, put, uh, combine them, you know, connect them together. And then I used my hope, uh, piercer and I punched two little holes right here on the scallop ends. And uh, I just, you know, um, pass through the, um, pass both little um, brads right through there. And um, and then I use pop dots that I picked up at Tuesday morning for a dollar. And so I had, I didn't have to use any adhesive or anything on these two. All I did was I used the, um, the brads here. Um, and these brads came from Edie. Thank you, Edie girlfriend. And I was completely out of my reds. And... Um, <laughs> and luckily she sent me some more so I was out of the reds and greens and you know all the holiday colors so um and then around the um the green cardstock and this um little two-sided um 
uh, scallop tag, I went ahead and I went over it with my distressed uh, stickles that Scarlett sent my way on one of our racks. Thank you, Scarlett. And down here, um, all I did was I used my tattered floral, and I am loving this dye. Thank you, Eddie girlfriend. She sent this my way um, as an early uh, birthday gift um, for the month of November. And... Um, and I used the uh, the two smallest ones. So what I did was I used some fabric that I had. Well, actually, this is ribbon. Okay, this is ribbon. And um, what I did was I cut a couple of pieces to match the size of the die of the cut. And um, and then what I did was I mist them with my shimmer mist. And then I used my hot tool. And I used my um. And yes, it was mighty hot because I was burning my fingers. I used this uh glue stick to kind of like you know put my flower upside down on it just like let me show you just like so and I held every little petal down and and it was missed you know it was already missed it with my shimmer mist so it was already moist so all I did was I um came in with my hot tool and uh and started holding each little petal so that it can use uh, or keep that little blend, you know, bending um, fold. Um, I was going to use my um, my lighter, but I was afraid that it wasn't going to work. But um, but it was okay because it was something new that I learned. So I wanted it to stand up, and, and it did. You know, if you notice how I'll push it down, and it'll still come up. So hopefully... Um, on, on its way to make it to um, Terry, it won't get all smashy once I put it in the envelope. <laughs> so then all I did was I added a different ribbon right here. So these are all ribbons. These are, these are three different ribbons. This gold one back here, then this one right here, which looks like this. And it's about maybe two inches wide. And then they, they both were. That's why I was only able to use this size of the, of the flower. And then on the, on the smallest size of the tattered floral, I used this other ribbon that I had. So then I just um, glued those together. And then and um, I glued those together. And then all I did was I adhered my little um, rhinestone here in the center. And uh, let's see. Oh, and then right here in the outer area, I... Oh, goodness. Okay, Edie girlfriend sent me some of these um, liquid pearls, and I believe I bought this green one. But I'm going to give my Edie girlfriend some credit because she's the one that introduced me to them. And I can't remember if she sent me this green one or I bought it. So thank you, Edie girlfriend. And so um, all I did was I, I did my own little, um, you know, swirls of um, bling and, um, you know, to, um, to flourish it up. And then in the inside, all I really did was um, I adhered a piece of um, cardstock, and then I used this corner punch that she sent me my way as well. Thank you, Edie girlfriend. At one time on one of our first couple of racks that we had done, so um, that's all I really did um, to this one. And then in the back, um, on the back, not in the back, but on the back, I um, all I did was I and read it you know wrote on there um created by um by me so that's pretty much it and then um on that card and then for the for the folder all i did was i i used one of my embossing folders i mean plates and i used my um my ink um using stamping up and i used the um marvelous magenta and because it was kind of like a green um, slightly green color um, envelope um, I, I decided I didn't want to just send it you know plain so I went ahead and used my embossing um, plate and I inked it up using my um, my brayer and um, and I've seen these techniques already you know on YouTube so you know I'm sure that y'all can find some of these but my newest technique that I that I um, learned was um, I think her name is Gina, um, oh, what is it, I'm not gonna, I'm afraid I'm gonna say it wrong, TV, 
TV star or TV. Oh my God. I'll put the link down below. Um, but, um, so you know where I saw this technique. Um, what I did was after my embossing, I went ahead and came in with my emboss, um, uh, my Versa marker. Okay, which I picked up at um, Joann's on one of my last um, hauls. And uh, what you do is you have two, two ends, two tips. Okay, you have this um, really big one, like a, you know, thick brush, uh, paintbrush. And then you have your fine one. Why well, I used the fine one because I didn't want to go over too much. So all I really did was the embossing would have been really, really light. And uh, what I did was I went over all the little flourishes. The entire flourishes, all of them, the leaves and in the you know, the stems and everything, and then I used my hot tool to blow dry it, and it gave the it gave it this um, nice texture, different color to it. So that's pretty much um, all I did to to the um, to the envelope, and then my other um, little project that I made for her to go with her package was this tag. Okay, and this tag here, if you notice right here, I used the technique that Laura, thank you, Laura, follow the paper trail, um, uses um, goosebumps. And all I did was I sprayed my tag first with goosebumps. And then I came in with using my, um, again, the uh, barn door distress ink. And then I used my um, faded jeans. And, um, First, I went over with my faded jean, and I just, you know, swirled it all the way around, and then I came in with my barn door, and then I, you just get a paper towel, and you, you know, wipe it, wipe any excess that's, you know, left on top, and then once I did that, um, you know, the, the uh, Goosebumps gives it a nice little bumpy texture, and it's really, really awesome because it's thick, and, um, and it's bumpy, and it gives it a good texture, and it's just fun to play with and this is what it looks like in case um, those of you that are not familiar with it this is the goosebumps and you can find it at Michaels um, not um, not in particularly on the aisle where you find all his dyes and you know all the aisles where you would find um, everything that he carries but Michaels has also this separate um, end cap um, like like a little um, small area where they put like on one side they'll put my um, Tim Holtz and then you go around it and you you'll see like uh, Martha Stewart's and then you go you, you continue to go to the other side so it's like four sides and then you'll see um, like um, recollection or you know stuff like that so um, that's where you'll find this and this is regular like $9.99 but if you can get it at 50% off which I did um, Actually, I think I got it for more because I used that 60% um, off. Yeah, at the time I had my 60% off coupon. And then I went ahead and I used um, this this plaque right here. I used the center part to the um, Tim Holtz clock. And um, so I used that chipboard that I, that, you know, once I cut my clock, I had that you know, center part, and I never throw it away, I always keep it, because I never know when I'm going to need it, and it's made out of chipboard, so I used that, and all I did was I wrapped this tissue paper that Edie sent my way, thank you Edie girl, um, when she wrapped my goodies, um, and sent my, um, my happy mail, and I kept the tissue paper, and I kept this other design that I liked, but this one was one of them, and I kept it, and I went ahead and I covered the, um, chipboard, um, center, uh, using this, and then, um, with my fibers, I just use my um, my glossy accents for you know to adhere that onto you know all, the whole edge, and then I um, I went ahead and I used these little um, nice like um, chipboard um, die, die cuts that um, Edie sent my way as well. Thank you, Edie girlfriend. And then all I did was I used pop dots on this one, and then this one as well, as you can see. You know, it's right from the um, tag. And and then um, down below, I, um, and I didn't have to do anything to it because it was already nice and sparkled and everything. Down below, she sent me these flowers, um, these leaves. And um, 
And then this little flower here um, was just one of the ones that I normally pick up at the dollar store. And again, here's one of the brats that she sent my way as well. And then right here, uh, I picked up these little um, nice, cute um, uh, die cuts from Michael's and their recollection. And uh, I got these like at, I think they were like 40% off and then I had a 25, you know, entire purchase. So I got a couple of packages of these. Um, and you get a mixture of little die cuts. And then around my flower, I went ahead and came around it. I came um, using the, um, the uh, liquid pearls once again. Okay. Oh, and by the way, on La Card, this is the uh, stickles that I use. And I thought it was this dress. It's just frosted lace stickles. And um, so then I just use, you know, my green, my green um, liquid pearls to give it some flourishing on there. And um, and up here, I did some more little, you know, um, little dots, giving it little pearl look. And then here at the top, I went ahead and kind of leaned over. Um, if you see how I kind of leaned the T over a little bit, tilt it. Okay, I didn't like keep it straight. I didn't want to keep it straight. I just wanted to angle it a little. And then I adhered that with um, my adhesive. Or no, I used um, um, the uh, glossy accents. Um, and these, these here, they're awesome because they come with um, a peel back. Um, so they're self-adhesive. And that's all I did was I just used that adhesive that was already on there. I, I don't think I went in there and I used this, but if I did... If I did use an adhesive, it would have been the um, glossy accent. And then down here, I used um, a small little strip of um, the iridescent pearls that I picked up at Joann's. And then this lace here, uh, I believe was sent to me um, by um, um, Scarlett. Thank you, Scarlett. And all I did was I came in there and I used my, um, my, um, my shimmer mist. Um, and this is... Um, Oh gosh, I just made that one. I can't remember what what color that is. And then I also went in there using my um, uh, metallic um, Christmas green. Um, so I sprayed that on there, and if you can, you can see, you know, like some of the green, some of the red down here. So I just mixed them both together, and then I decided that I wasn't comfortable. I didn't like just sending her one-sided tag so i had to make it a double and here at the top i used again my um tattered floor die and i used this is um a ribbon if you see this it's kind of like that plastic type well it's it's one of those like three inch um ribbons and um what i did was i just cut like maybe um three inches long three and a half inches long um, so that I can get a couple of, you know, flowers to be cut with it. And so I went ahead and I used this, um, this one as the backing, and then I used this one. This one's using some of my felt that I um, previously used um, making a card. And then this one, again, I came in there and, and I used that one ribbon, um, you know, the gold one. And then I put a little red thing on there. And then at the top, I went ahead and I used my die cut that I um, ordered from Sizzix. And uh, this is one of my snow snowflake. No, wait. I bought this one at Joann's. I'm sorry. I picked up this die at Joann's. Um, and it comes with the small and the uh, large. So you get two different sizes in one little plate. Um, so I added those two down here as well. I added that one and that one. And then up here... What I did was I used my new die um, that I picked up at um, Hobby Lobby uh, about a week ago or so. And um, I can't remember what the name is, but I'll put it down below. And then um, all I did was I used my stamp here in the center. And that's this one. And Edie sent this one my way. Thank you, Edie girlfriend. I believe she sent this one my way some time back. So, I mean, not too, too long ago, but just, you know, some time back. And um, I used and and then I used my um, my embossing powders uh, that I just recently got from Terry. Thank you, Terry girl. <laughs> she sent me this Winter Wonderland um, um, embossing powder, so that's what I used on here. And then down below, here's another little uh, little uh, die cut 
um, from the same um, collection, that red collection collection. And, um, excuse me, um, and I used a little penguin on there. And uh, I think I just, yeah, I used to, you know, one of those little, um, a couple of those little um, thin pop dots. And then I, I did the same thing with this one. I, I used pop dots on this one. Um, these I just didn't hear them with my ATG gun. And then down below, again, I went in there and I used the same ribbon that I used on this flower. Uh, where is it? Oh, the flower on the card. And, um, and I used the same ribbon. And all I did was I cut it in half because it was too wide. And then at the top, I went ahead and I used my, um, iridescent, um, um, pearls. And that's basically it. Oh, and in the background... What I did was I went in there and I used my uh, Shimmer Mist again using this new one. I haven't labeled it or anything yet because I just made it for the, you know, project. So um, that's it. And you could see the shimmer on there. They are coming out awesome. Awesome. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. But, um, but you can see it on the bottom. Now. Let me show you. See all that? Look at all that shimmer in there. It's awesome. So I'm having a lot of fun with my shimmers and with my um, liquid pearls and, I mean, you name it. And then up here at the top, I used the same ribbon that I used on my card. So that way they can, you know, kind of go together and match a little. So she'll be able to hang this one if she wants. Um, a I've seen a lot of people where they have, like, little trees and they hang their little... Um, tags um off of their little trees and this this idea of being a double-sided tag i saw it on somebody's channel i cannot remember i think i might have written it down i'm gonna get my notepad out and if i find her i am going to put her down below on the link so you can see of tags that someone had sent her and made her a double-sided tag and that's where i actually picked up the idea so i just thought i'd mention that and oh and then i put some more of those liquid pearls right here so that's it folks so um i hope you liked my card and um and tag and i'm very messy here and i gotta clean up because i have a very small haul that i want to share with you guys and i hope that um y'all are having a very good day and y'all have a nice weekend and see you guys real soon bye